The City of Gainesville Department of Parks, Recreation and Cultural Affairs works to enrich lives on many levels. Our mission is to promote cultural activity in Alachua County and develop mechanisms that encourage and support community-based cultural resources. Today, we'll learn about contributions to Gainesville's own unique visual environment and cultural resources, including the importance of the arts and the historic Thomas Center for the Arts. Public Art. The city's 1% Art in Public Places program works to enhance the quality of the visual environment in the Gainesville community, adding to the aesthetic and intellectual experiences in everyday life. The Art in Public Places Trust is a City of Gainesville, Alachua County appointed five-member Citizen Advisory Board established to manage and oversee the purchase of public art. Public art is important because it's accessible to everyone, contributes to community pride, and promotes cultural tourism. It has the unique ability to transform a space. Let's take a look at some of the public art that Gainesville has to offer. Gainesville Solar Walk. Designed by artist Elizabeth Indianos through a cooperative project with the Alachua Astronomy Club and the City of Gainesville Art in Public Places Trust. The Solar Walk is a 4 billion to 1 linear scale model of our solar system. 10 sculptures representing the sun and 9 planets are placed along a 1 mile stretch to mark their relative distance from the sun. Markers representing the Comet of Halley are placed at the comet's closest, perihelion, and farthest, aphelion, distance from the sun. The site is unique for its use of recycled materials, donated funding and resources, in addition to strong community involvement. Visitors experience science, art, and nature at the Gainesville Solar Walk. Rejoined the origin of Rejoined by Bradley Smith dates back to the early 1900s when construction began on the old Federal Building in downtown Gainesville. When the building was renovated to house Gainesville's Hippodrome Theater, a number of granite foundation blocks and limestone molding were removed from the structure and reused by the artist to create this sculpture. The design symbolizes the old made new. Recent recipient of a beautification award, Rejoined was a collaborative project with the Community Redevelopment Agency and acts as a symbolic gateway connecting the University of Florida with the redeveloped University Heights neighborhood adjacent to it. Gainesville Athletes This mural depicts several Gainesville athletes who have achieved excellence in certain sports. Artist Suzanne Marie Raveling captures the potential that exists in our youth beginning with high school sports through Olympic achievement. As children play in the gymnasium, they are surrounded by images depicting endless possibilities. A Gainesville Family Portrait Richard Hype, UF Professor of Art, created a Gainesville Family Portrait. This mixed media installation presents an official history of the people of Gainesville. The intent is to pay homage to the working people and the disenfranchised of our community. It's a reminder that government exists to serve all people. Indigenous. Indigenous by Pete Davidson is coming soon to the Gainesville Regional Airport through the City of Gainesville's Art in Public Places Trust. Communities that support the arts and culture not only enhance their quality of life, they also invest in their economic well-being. The arts and cultural industry is one of the fastest growing in the state. Its annual statewide economic impact has grown from $1.7 billion in 1997 to over $2.9 billion and now supports over 28,000 full-time equivalent jobs. In Alachua County alone, arts and cultural organizations generate $40.98 million in local economic activity and support 1,145 full-time jobs. Arts and culture organizations bring benefits such as encourage tourist spending, and studies have shown that Americans who experience art are more active in their communities. Thomas Center Galleries the Department of Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs showcases rotating art exhibitions through two magnificent galleries within the historic Thomas Center for the Arts. The Thomas Center's main and mezzanine galleries exhibit the highest quality of work by local, regional, national, and international artists and collectors. The dynamic exhibition schedule presents solo, group, and juried exhibitions. Exhibitions vary thematically and include diverse styles, subject matter, and media, which may include painting, drawing, photography, printmaking, sculpture, and multimedia installations. To promote the arts and serve local constituents, the Thomas Center Galleries partner with educational institutions, organizations, and businesses. The galleries are free and open to the public Monday through Saturday. The Division of Cultural Affairs and the Historic Thomas Center for the Arts. 
The Thomas Center is a unique cultural landmark that houses the city's Division of Cultural Affairs and contributes to the cultural, civic, and social life of Gainesville. The building was completed in 1910. Visitors enjoy the facility's rich history, diverse art, serene gardens, theater performances, and special events. The Thomas Center's meeting rooms and performance spaces have become sought-after venues for weddings, conferences, and social events. Cell phone tours are offered throughout the Thomas Center and historic Duck Pond neighborhood. The Thomas Center is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Historic preservation impacts the state of Florida some $4.2 billion annually, generating 123,000 in state jobs and $657 million in state and local taxes. Historic preservation also helps to maintain property values in Florida while preserving our culture. We'd like to thank the citizens of Gainesville for supporting the arts. Our collaborative relationships with schools, organizations, businesses, collectors, patrons, and artists enable us to provide quality programming that helps to preserve and enrich the cultural heritage of our community. Learn more about our programs and plan your trip to the Thomas Center by visiting www.gvlculturalaffairs.org.